Ooh, big Shoot him, man. Shoot him. He's going to pop that rope. Woo. In the farthest corner of America lies the nation's largest swamp. Woo. A hidden world where nature rules and man fights back. Shoot him. If you think you can come out here and do it, good luck to you. There are eight days left in the month-long gator season, and the hot spots are already fished out. Look, empty box, not. To stay in the game, hunters must find new, unexplored grounds. I know where we can go and see some gators. And for some, the pressure's beginning to take its toll. I, I think I'd do better on my own. I'm gonna go fish my side, you go fish your side. Sounds We're gonna good. see who's gonna catch them. Sounds good. Welcome to the swamp. With just over one week left to hunt gator, Junior Edwards and his son Willie still have 97 tags remaining. After splitting up for most of the season, they've reunited for the final push. It works out better when you got a couple people in the boat with you when you're fooling alligators. It ain't so hard on just one man. Junior's main hunting grounds are fished out, so the boys are heading to a remote area where they expect to find some big gators. We save them to the end of the year every year. And every time we go back there, we catch big gators. When you get back there, you, you start seeing alligators as soon as you get off in the boat. And you go back there and fill out a few tags right quick and big gators. Yesterday, they baited 30 lines in a deep pond. But as they approach it this morning, there's no way in. Looks like it's pretty tight. The water level has dropped during the night. Now the entrance is impassable. The water levels in this pond are affected by levees on the Mississippi River. Waters can rise and fall up to 15 feet without warning. It makes everything from river navigation to hunting strategy much more difficult. You live about how the water works. So water comes up, water goes down. I mean, you got to watch what it does. The water makes the difference on everything we do out here. The water controls everything. You got three feet of water there. Huh? You ain't got three feet of water there. You bail old boy and go get him in, you're trying to tell me, huh? In the shallow water, obstructions that are normally well beneath the surface could damage the boat or its engine and Junior wants to see if it's worth the trouble before finding a way in. I see something, I want you to go check. Bottom over there on the bank. Tell me that opening right over there? Right in between them little trees right there. I'm gonna put you on the bank right here and let you walk over there. All right. To make sure it's worth the trip, Willie will check out the pond for signs of life. Daddy got a big old alligator in his hole. Oh, look at that big one right there. I'm looking at him. Hang on, I'm coming over there. See him crossing right there in front of the stump? Yeah, I see him way over there. One look, and Junior's convinced as well. In a place like it's three or four miles long now. Might be 15 big ones, plus a couple, just maybe one or two real big alligators. And that's the way we sneak in and catch them and then back out of it and let it leave it alone. I'm gonna have some bulls back there. With so little time left in the season and tags to fill, Junior's determined to push through the slough. Well, I think they got no hole down here. We can get in, get back in that hole back in there. We might need Malcolm. You don't think that water's too low for that? Well, y'all can push and pull and help me get in there. Might kill him. All right. 
They'll need Malcolm's help to make it into the pond. So without delay, the boys head back in to get him. 20 miles south in Pierre Par, Troy Landry's crew is on target to have a good season. Three weeks in, they filled three quarters of their tags. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. After a while, you formed this bond as a team working together. Feels great when you're out there, you're getting this job done. Part of Troy's formula for success is choosing the right place to hunt. The crew moves to a different area of the swamp every three to four days. You know, I've got a lot of years of experience, and, and you know, we've caught thousands of alligators through the years, and, you know, I, I know where to look. I got a feel for where alligators are, big alligators. And, and, you know, you get that. After you've done it for so many years, you get a feel for it. They've already spent four days in this canal, and the team has only one more line to check. You got something here? Gate on there. There's alligator on the lawn. There's a good one on there. Feels like it's a good alligator. You got your gun? Yeah, it is a good one, I think. Nine-footer caps off a solid four days here. That's it for here? Yeah, Jacob picked up the one along the lake, you say. They need to keep up the pace in order to tag out by season's end. And the big question is where to go next. Normally, Troy chooses where to hunt. This time, Liz takes the reins, offering up her daddy's secret hotspot. Hey, buddy, I know where we can go see some gators in, in the cove right there in the lake. Full of them. For Troy, the best way to captain a boat is to listen to the crew. All right, let's go. You know, I'm the boss of my boat, but I got helpers with me 12, 14 hours a day in my boat. And when they come up with an idea, if, if they want to try something new, uh, you know, I'll try. We are a team. We are alligator fishing or hunting team. Troy's going to follow Liz's lead, but with only one week left, the gamble better pay off. While Troy keeps ahead of the game, 70 miles away, Joe LaFont's trying to make up for lost time. He should have moved to a new area yesterday, but he couldn't because his stepson Tommy decided to take the day off. A day sleeping is a day lost, bro. You gotta make it every day. I feel bad I slept in, but it happens every now and then. He knows it, but it ain't supposed to happen during alligator season. You got to be there, and you got to get it done, and, and do it while the getting's good. I messed up. I admit it. All right, Tommy, this is the plan for the day. We're going to go over there. We're going to pick up all the lines we get to, every one we pick up. Tomorrow, we're going to move to a little, new location, get a fresh set. We've got to start catching some more alligators. We're running, right. running low on time. Joe's used to Tommy slacking off, but this time, it's setting him back, with little time left in the season. We're one day late on this. That's why I like to move my lines when it's time to move. We gotta move them. About everything we're gonna catch. We ain't gonna catch nothing today, Tommy. All this should have been done yesterday. We ain't gonna do no good today, bro. Day late, dollar short. That's all I can say, man. That's why I wish you was with me yesterday. We could have moved these lines. We'd have had alligators today. Man, man. All right. Every empty line is a taunt. I can see this is going to be a slow day for me. I can see that coming on now. Nothing again. 
That's what you get. If you don't work these lines, you're not going to catch them. I was getting more and more pissed every line I get to, and no alligators on the more pissed off I was getting. Look, empty box. Not. Can't get them all, Joe. Man, it just started getting real tension on the boat, you know? I could tell him, I, I knew in me, I had a little tension. I know Joe had a little tension. I could see it in him. Not good, another bait hanging today. Eight days and 83 tags to fill are not good numbers for Joe. If the day continues like this, he may not tag out for the first time in 20 years. Nothing again. It's noon in southern Louisiana, and Troy Landry's team is on the move to new hunting grounds. Liz has shared a family secret with Troy, a place that's always delivered big gators. There's places that we rode by when we were running gator lines, and it's like I can almost see my daddy there, you know? It does bring back a lot of memories, good memories. And Troy reminds me of my daddy. My old man, Mr. CJ, he was a tough old bird at times, but I loved him to death. I mean, he did this all his life, but I was with him ever since I was a little baby in the boat. He couldn't leave me for long. <laughs> Troy's decided to bank on her daddy's knowledge and follow Liz wherever it leads. I don't know what to expect over there. I've, I've never fished that property. Hopefully, it's going to pay off because, man, we got a lot of tags left. Troy, a nice one that just went down. You just saw a nice one? Yeah. You just had a nice one swimming right here. Look, there he is over there, Liz. Look about a bank. Uh-uh. That ain't him. That ain't him? That's a different one. Huh? That's a different one. That's not the one I seen. I see another one over there. Getting ready to go down. He's going down. That's three gators right here so far. Seen a couple of nice alligators right here. At least you see more here than uh, what we did on the other end. The honey hole comes alive with gators, exactly as Liz promised. Put a few lines. But seeing the beast doesn't fill tags. The team's got to get them all to bite. You got a good tree right there, Jake. Set that line a little higher. As they get to work setting their lines, Troy's in high spirits. Good set, Troy. Good set, Troy. I think it's going to be good. We're going to try it out and see what it does. Hopefully, it's going to pay off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. While the waiting game begins in Liz's secret hotspot, Across the swamp, in the Conway Bayou, Glenn and Mitchell Geist are preparing for some action. Oh, yeah, Mitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, boy. Huh? As always, the brothers are searching the swamp for their next meal. And today, they're looking to reel in a boatload of catfish. Later today, we're having family and friends over, and we're going to fry us a big mess of fish up and feed everybody that's dead. When the Acadians fled Canada and settled in Louisiana centuries ago, Cajun fishermen adapted their skill to survive on the bayou, adding local seafood like catfish to their diet. The boys are heading for lines they baited with perch yesterday. One in the front of us at that willow tree. Where's that? One in the front of us. I see it. Got something on that? I think so. Oh yeah, bud! A big catfish, man! A big Hold up, hold up. Hold up, man, hold up. Come here, you big cat. Ooh, papa. Damn. Got him? Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Huh? Go get him! The 20-pound blue channel catfish is big enough to guarantee there'll be a party tonight. Yeah, buddy. A couple of them like that. That fry up good. The boys want several more fish for the fryer. Glenn's happy to keep shopping on the bayou. I'd rather catch my own than go buy it in the damn store, because, hell, you don't know how long that damn fish's been sitting in there. 
So I, that's why I'd rather go catch them when you know they're fresh. And everybody, when you cook them up, everybody will eat them. <laughs> As Glenn and Mitchell hope their luck continues, 105 miles away, Joe's much less optimistic. And it might be time for Tommy to face hard facts. Tommy, ain't no steaks tonight. Tonight you have to eat a bowl of cereal the way it looks. Bowl of cereal? Bowl of cereal, boy. No money. Ain't gonna be no pay today. He really messed up that DNA with me. He needs to be there every day and not miss a day's work to see what's going on to learn the right way. He to learn the hard way. Even though the day seems to be a loss, Joe moves methodically through all his lines. Grab the bait pole, Joe. I see the strings right here. Hold up. I have some here. Oh, watch it here, Tommy. This might be one. You got it ready? Ready. He's stuck on the bottom. That's a big gator. He's stuck on oh, the bottom. Oh, that's good. About time we catch one. He's a... I can feel where he's holding back on me. Good eight foot. Bigger than that. Look at the size of that alligator. Get ready. Watch him. We'll bring him to the top. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Get a shot on him, Tom. Whoa. Watch him. Get watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Get ready. Damn. He's coming. Get ready. Watch him. So you see his head, I want you to bust his ass. Don't give him no slack. Try to get your shot on him while you can. Oh, look at that sucker. Get him, watch get him. Get ready. Good shot, boy. Go! Oh, I knew that was, boy. Ow! That's a big one. Look at the size of his foot. That's a 12 foot of Tommy. 12 foot of Joe. He ain't got his tail missing, he's 12 foot. I'm talking about why? Look at the size of that sucker. Well, I'm sure glad to see that. Oh, that brought up the day a little bit, huh? Yeah, we needed that bad. Might get to eat some chicken tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big relief to bag this 800-pounder after their dismal morning. That's a 12-footer, boy. I'm sure glad we caught that one on the day. Ooh, we're picking ooh. up the lines. I didn't expect to catch a big one like that in this area. Sure, I'm glad I caught me one, though. Then we're picking up the line. That's even better. I got to catch that big one before I pick up. But to stay on pace to tag out, the boys are going to need a lot more than just one big catch today. I hope it continue on like that so we can pick up our day, get a few more nice ones out of the deal. Started off real slow, but look like the end might turn out better. They press on, hopeful this area is not completely fished out. Go we'll get another one. Ready right. for another one. Ready for another one? Ready. I'm ready for another one, too. Let's go get it. Meanwhile, in Bayou Sorrel, Junior and Willie have enlisted the help of Malcolm to help them access a pond where they've seen some big gators swimming. The water level has sunk to under three feet. And now there are underwater hazards everywhere just waiting to impale the boat. When you're in the swamp, you don't know what's going to happen. The swamp changes, logs drift, you hit stuff, you never know what's going to be there. Just living off the land, I mean, we do what we got to do. Junior plans to push through the Lily Clock Slough. With this maneuver, he could completely destroy his motor or his boat. It's not very deep in here at all. Oh, boy, you might have to get the paddle to help me get through you. Go ahead, go ahead and get him to try to help him through that. Trim it up. Can't be doing this. It takes too much time. Can't be doing all this at all. I think Junior believes in hurry up and get it done. If you can't get it done, get out of the way and I'll do it. An impatient junior is pushing the engine to its max. Hold on. Oh! Oh! Oh!
clean that water flow about the thing getting hot. Getting hot. See, it's hot. The overheated motor is costing more time on a day when they're already hours behind. You waste the hour, I mean, you can't get it back. You just got to try to make up for it, but you'll never make up for it. You just, you just got to keep on going and don't look back. Hit the water. Show on the road. Right now, we're pulling in a dead-end location. We've got uh, one hook in the back corner here. Finally at their lines, the boys discovered that the dramatic drop in water level has left their bait hanging too high to catch any gators. Where the water looks like it's falling, are we? Oh, man, that water's falling. God. Well, that water didn't fail, huh? Two days, it most probably fell a foot, foot and a half. It's falling now, I know that. Oh, yeah, it's falling. Once your hooks and stuff get too high from the water, it ain't, you ain't, it ain't like keeping the scent on the water. You got to keep all, uh, that bait scent all on the water, like it's low enough to the water where the alligator smell it. And if you get it too high in the water, he ain't going, he can't smell it, he can't see it. Today's threatening to be a bust. With only eight days left in the season, they'll have to try a new strategy. If they don't start biting on the, the bait, we'll be throwing that treble hook pretty regular. When the water's falling, they won't bite good when it's like that. So that's when you got to go to hunt them and shoot them. Though the low water level hurts bait fishing, thankfully it helps treble hooking in open water. Sometimes when the water's low, they come out of them holes and feed out here. Low water, you catch better alligators. The lower the water is, the better it is, because everything pulls to the canals. The boys can still salvage their day, and Willie's ready for the challenge. Oh, when I want something, I'm going to put 100% of my effort in and catch it. As a hunter, I'm confident in my skills. I mean, I can catch just about every one of them. If he's making bubbles, he's caught. As Junior and his team keep hunting, back in the Conway Bayou, Glenn and Mitchell have already bagged their film. They've got a mess of catfish for their family fish fry tonight. Yee! Got him, baby. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and their last line's got even more supper on it. Yeah! You didn't sound like see you, huh? I hear him talking to you. With over 100 pounds of catfish in the boat, the boys decide they can return home to prep dinner. Ready? All right, dude. Ready? Ready. Just from the, uh, look at this. Man, motor died? Yep. Huh? Yep. I thought you just fixed that damn thing. I did. Huh? I did. I guess. <laughs> what I told you about buying them damn parts, second-hand parts, man, ain't worth the Yep, it'll start and kill. It look like I got a long paddle back, huh? Looks that way, huh? Luckily, they always carry a paddle with them for emergencies. You have to start stroking, man. You have to start stroking it. <laughs> a long ways. <laughs> yes. If you help me paddle, you're going to help me paddle, huh? Yeah. Yeah, with your hand. Man, what good that's going to do? Man, you got to put that paddle that's in your hand. That's all I got. <laughs> well, you can help me paddle. I'll help you. That's all I got. I'll go find you a stick or something where you can help me paddle. <laughs> Four miles from home with only one paddle, Mitchell and Glenn have a long afternoon ahead. Stroke. I'm stroking, bro. I'm stroking. Let's get where we're going. 105 miles to the southeast. Nothing again, nothing. Joe and Tommy are in the middle of their own slog. It's been two hours since they've caught a gator. Not good. Not good at all. And catch it. That's what you get for not moving lines. We done ran about 40 lines already this morning. We only got one in the box. That's what you get from not moving lines. I was hoping to catch a couple more big ones today, but do not look like that's going to happen. Go from one line to another line not catching anything, and when you got that many alligators to, uh, to catch, you get really frustrated with it, and knowing what you could have did better if you would uh, if you'd have moved any line, so uh, that really make you more frustrated. Bait hanging, just like I put it yesterday. All hanging today. 
Got one here hanging, one over there hanging, one across the canal. Three in a row right here. I ain't catch nothing. The boys have over 60 lines left to pick up in this fished out area before their miserable day is over. I hope we catch something back here. Boys, don't look good. Hey, hey, man. At last, Joe sees a line down. All right, take it easy, Tom. The string's going around the island right here. There's a string. See how big this one is. How big he is. get back here. Hold up. Hold on, man. Uh oh. You look like about a six footer. About six foot? Yeah. There he is. This is. There he is. Try to get him. Don't give him no slack. Watch him. Get him in the spot. What is this? Miss Fox. Watch him, Joe. Don't want to stay still for nothing. About time we get one. It's on them. A little bit on the small side, Tommy. This little gator will fill a tag, but Joe's not happy. Hawks look bad, boy. Ain't the size I'm looking for. He's kind of small. Looking for those big ones right now. Hey, you know this is your phone? Yeah. These lines are wore out. These lines have been fishing for too many days. We need some fresh sets. You'd have been here yesterday. We'd have had a, a good run today. That's why our pocket's going to be light. We'll blame it all on you today. I get the blame. Yeah, you're going to get the blame. Like because you'd have been else. here yesterday. We'd have our lines you. together. We'd be catching gators right now. Man, man, man. Joe's starting to ride my ass, you know, and. I'm already aggravated and already hurting, you know. Now he's blaming me. I ain't catch no gators. I say, I, how you gonna blame that on me? It ain't my fault the gators didn't bite. Ain't that, hate to have a day like this. You know, I always had trust in Tommy that he's gonna learn how to do it and everything. But at this point right here, I don't think he'll never figure it out. You know, I don't believe Tommy even realized how pissed off I am right now. I might have to just lose it on Tommy to really make him understand it. Seventy miles away, Troy's team is patrolling their lines in Liz's old family hotspot, hoping to keep their hot streak alive. They're greeted by a good sign right off the bat. What we got, Liz? Might have something here. Huh? Yeah, we might have something here. Oh yeah. I don't know what it is, but it felt like a good one. Troy has to clear swamp grass to free the line. It's acting like it's a good one. In this shallow water, a gator can surface in less than a second. I guess we do it so many times that we don't calculate the risk that's involved, but we have to get the job done. It feels like a good one. I'm not 100%, but. Can you get, can you get Whoa! 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 That's what I'm talking about, big boy. Another good one. Yeah, you. Oh, bite the bull. Bite the bull. Oh. Oh, big hit it. Come on, pull. Woohoo. Oh, big boy. Oh, bite the bull. Shock him. Shoot him, please. Shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Pop goes the weasel. Thank you, Elizabeth. Woo! That's a good one. What do you think of that, Johnny? The catch begins to confirm that following Liz to this location was the right idea. Wow. He's a good one. Thank God we got him, Elizabeth. Woo! Woo! I feel like Liz is one of the guys. Whatever it takes, you know she's going to do her part. With the nine-footer on board, the team's energized and optimistic about the area. 
That paid off, huh? It looks like Troy's gamble may be leading him right to the jackpot. This came up with a pretty good idea. It's not like she's never fished alligators before. She's been doing it all her life. And I feel confident that we're going to have a good day today. You ready? Go. Meanwhile, over in the Conway Bayou. You don't feel like I'm going nowhere. Am I moving? Slow, slow, slow. Glenn and Mitchell are trying to get home the old-fashioned way. Am I moving, man? Barely, but you're moving. We'll get there. It's hard work, but every paddle brings the boys closer to home. Stroke, stroke. I'm stroking, bro. I'm stroking. Let's get where we're going. <laughs> I'm stroking, my boy. I'm stroking. Stroke, stroke, stroke. <laughs> We ought to get there by the night, huh? <laughs> While Glenn and Mitchell slowly head to land, over in Bayou Sorrel, Junior's crew is hunting in open water. Well, water's falling out and everything, and when they ain't biting, and when they ain't biting hooks or nothing, we just got to break out the treble hook and start to grab them. Junior and Willie saw big gators here this morning and are confident the low water will flush them out to the deeper center of the pond. I see something way down in the bar. Oh, yeah, we got one here. Bubbles coming up right there. Yeah, down. I see them bubbles under there. He lobbed me up under there. Got a big old alligator up in here. Oh, yeah, they got a big one there. I ain't gonna get close to him. Throw it across the biggest bubble. I was him right there. He rolled that mud when I threw that hook. Willie's treble hook toss is dead on. Oh. Oh. He got my hand. Draw. <laughs> Oh, boy, that's awesome. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get that stuff wrapped in your finger. He's gonna pop that rope. Get your hand down there and don't get bit. Woo! Yeah. Get your gun. Get your gun. Get your gun. Be still, boy. Let it go. Let it go. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, yeah. 775-pounder turns the boy's spirits around. I love catching him like this. He pulled pretty hard. He was pulling. He pulled like a big, big 10. Let's see if he got a nut here. <laughs> you got that thing on that rope, it ain't nothing like it. The team's feeling good, but it's mid-afternoon, and they've only got one gator in the boat. They got to work quickly to make the trip here worthwhile. We only got a few hours left when we're trying to get, get a little move on it, kick up the pace a little bit, and finish the rest of them. Over in the Conway Bayou, Glenn and Mitchell are back on Easy Street. After paddling home, they're ready to fry some fish. If there ain't nobody around, you know, to pull you in, you ain't got no choice. Either stay there or paddle. Paddle your way out. I'd rather paddle my way out than stay there for a couple of days. <laughs> this here is catfish. Well, I just caught this today. <laughs> I done cut it out, the rib part. I'm thinning it down so it'll cook through. Throw them in the fish fry and then throw them in the pot. With family and friends eager to sample the day's catch, Glenn and Mitchell get to work, preparing it the same way their Cajun ancestors did. Well, last time I was trying to fry fish. <laughs> It turned out like chips. <laughs> you, said, you ever heard of fish chips? <laughs> like potato <laughs> chips, well, that's how they turned out. Man. He burnt them. Glenn's fish chips. <laughs> Test them out, Mitch, see how they are, boy. Everything we need from the Stamont, we caught it, we cooked it, now we're going to eat it and all our friends with us. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's good, man. For Mitchell and Glenn, that's what it's all about living off the land and relying on one another. Like they say, man, we like two peas in the pot. <laughs> yeah, we keep uh -huh. each other company. Oh, yeah. I'm happy, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, babe. <laughs> For sure, babe. Oh, yeah, yeah, babe. Huh? <laughs>
105 miles away? Joe and Tommy have run all their lines and have almost nothing to show for it. The boys are now more than a full day behind and still have 79 tags to fill in the remaining week of the season. Y'all look good. We didn't catch too much. We caught four of them. Bad turnout today. I'm, sure. I'm not happy with today's catch. As they prepare to unload their measly haul. All right, let's put that blue top down right there. Joe doesn't hold back his frustration. You know why there's only a couple? Because wow. you ain't showed up yesterday. Oh, you'd have been fault, there yesterday, huh? would have put some lines out, would have to. Both, both full of alligators today. My fault. My fault. Here's your fault. Everything's my fault. Here's your fault. It's your Tommy. fault, Tommy. You'd been there yesterday. It wouldn't be going on right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I wasn't here. Man. I'm tired of Joe beating me up. Joe rides me over and over on the same stuff, so yeah, I messed up, I admit it. You know, don't keep riding me on it, though. I can't I can't deal with that. I, I think I'd do better on my own. If I, I go catch my own alligator. By yourself? By myself. Yeah, you want to try it? You've been talking about this You talk and I'll give you some tags. You go check it your own self. Yeah. That's fine. You want to do that? Then you always think, hey, you, you'll be on time. You sleep all day long, baby. You won't even go check your line. Look, there's your line. Take them. Huh? Get you on your own self and go do it. Vaughn, you want to go fish them? Tomorrow I'll give you tags. You go out there and fish the one. I'm going to go fish my side. You go fish your side. Sounds We're going to see who's going to catch them. Sounds good. It, man. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead, you want to do it? Get the boat. Go out there and set your own lines. Here, take the whole container. As the last week of gator season approaches, simmering tension between Joe and Tommy finally boils over. God damn, go do bro. I'm going to give you some tags. Tomorrow's the day. You want to go fish them? Tomorrow I'll give you tags. You go out there and fish the one. I'm going to go fish my side. You go fish your side. Sounds We're going to see who's going to catch them. That's, yeah, that's, that's right, what it's going to be. We're going to see who's going to catch them. All right. Look, there's your line. Take them. Huh? Uh, yeah. Get you some poles, too. Get your boat ready. Go and get you on your own self and go do it. I'm done. I'm finished with it. Let him go on his own. He's going to learn. He's going to see what's going on. He's going to see that he think he knows it all, but he's he, he going to realize that he don't. You ought to walk home. You ought to walk home? No, you ought to walk home. I ought to leave your ass here. I'll take the boat home. Sounds good. Man? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, you. You want to do it? Touch your own lines. He's going to throw some tags at me. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to prove him wrong. I'm going to go out there and do the damn thing. I'm going to give it my best, and I'm going to come home with some gators, and. That's just how it's gonna be. Well, blame me for everything. So, my out hunter's ass. So, that's what it is. We're gonna get ready for tomorrow morning. Joe and Tommy have hunted together for 20 years, but tomorrow they'll fish in separate boats. I'm finished with Tommy. He thinks he could do it. Good luck to him. I don't think he could do it on his own. 80 miles away, in Bayou Sorrel. Junior's still got a few hours to fish before sunset, but the day already looks great. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six alligators. We was thinking that we bit off more than we could chew, but turned out to be we got them filled pretty quick. It didn't take that long. Willie's skill at open water fishing has turned things around. Something balling right there, Dad. Check it. Alligator right there. And check him out. What y'all waiting on? Throw it on this side of the boat, right there. Right there in front of you, right there. Ooh, woo. Got big boy right here. He come up. He got the whole bar stirred up. He got them fishes, Jim. The size of this beast rivals anything caught on the line. Got mud coming up. No! Cool! A hand burner. Oh, yeah, he's burning them down. Shoot him in the middle of the back. You got Shoot him here. in the back now. No. Shoot him in the back. The gators that Junior and Willie spotted this morning are now filling up their boat. <laughs> All of a sudden, we started piling them in. And the boys couldn't be happier that they've re-teamed to fish this honey hole. Over the years, Willie's getting better and better. I mean, I love fishing with him. He loves fishing with me. We just try to get it done and make a decent living at it. 
Alligators and alligators, more alligators. That's a pretty good day's catch. After today's haul, it looks good for Junior and the boys to keep on pace in the last week of gator season. Three days like this, you're gonna be tagged out. Done! There's more good news over in Pierre Park. Liz's hot spot is paying dividends for Troy and his team. Okay, ready? Mm. Oh, yeah. We are at the point with, with, with my people that I don't have to tell them what to do. They know what I'm thinking, and I know what they're thinking. You know, we act like a team, and we are a team. This ain't no baby. Watch him, Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you, not him. <laughs> It feels awesome when you when you own one of those days and you just cracking them and you know you getting all you gotta get. Feels really good. This gator's the 22nd of the day, and at their very next line, there's another one waiting. Oh! Watch it, Elizabeth! Got one, I told you ain't got off. Oh! Oh, watch your knee! Oh! Gee. Thank you, Elizabeth! Ooh, Liz, I didn't think we had one here, but we got one. All right, Elizabeth, good job, good job. Good job. Today's success has proved that Liz can not only shoot them, but she knows how to find them, too. When you talk about alligator hunting, of course you always think that it's a man's world. Uh, you don't see a lot of women doing it, and Liz is one of them, and I promise you she's the best. All of the local people call her the alligator queen, not like she was. You don't make it wrong. Troy did respect uh, me and the boat, what I know as a as an alligator hunter. Um, he's seen what I can do, and uh, it was pretty good. All right, Lizzie, good job, baby girl, good job. Woo! <laughs> we caught good. Might have paid off to listen to you. Not often it pays off to listen to a woman, but every once in a while it does. <laughs> right? Right? What do you think? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs>